Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, when we talk about sound defensive fighters, that conversation oftentimes begins with Dominic Cruz, but I'm gonna enter this guy in the discussion because he sticks and moves with the best of them, gets the head off the center line, uses footwork and movement and defense to set up his own offense, and he stays so relaxed in there, Joe, because his defense is that sound and uses that defensive movement to create offensive angles. Very, very smart, sound defensive fighter who uses that to his advantage and figures to do that again tonight. So as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. This guy has incredible takedown defense. Out of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they have the same height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time for a round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, Superman. And now to defeat his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Cole Russia. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right, right now. Well, New York has been all the rage, but this was a place we visited quite frequently over the last several years. Good to be back at the crew, the Prudential Center here in Newark, New Jersey, as we get underway. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Tags him. And he connects with the punch there. Wow! That left high kick came out of nowhere. And now he is inside control. And moves to north south. Tries to pass, but cannot. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Holding him here, moving to north-south position. 
Full mount. Controlling him from behind. He's in half guard. And back to the mount. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, nice series of elbows. I'm surprised that didn't cut him open. Posture's up here. Showing good defense here, controlling that arm, keeping him from hitting him. Mount again. He hip escapes to the full mount. He's looking for the Kimura here from half guard. Double wrist lock position. Turns his opponent's hand up and towards the back of his head. Great job in establishing that submission. Yeah, Joe, we could barely get the Fight Clock sponsor out, and the submission comes here in round one. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He knew his opponent would know what was coming. It was going to be takedown attempts in bunches, but he couldn't stop the early shot, and, and he certainly couldn't stop the submission. So great effort and even better technique here tonight. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight. And that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute 44 seconds of the very first round. The playing the winner by tap out, due to a Kimura, Paul Russian. So there he is, the winner by way of submission, and how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that these guys are gonna be celebrating deep into the night after a submission win like this.